So today's video is going to be pretty short. Um, we're not doing too much in the reptile room. Uh, it's like almost midnight. So Robbie's at work. I'm just in the reptile room by myself. Um, I'll be doing a little bit of cleaning, misting down the geckos, uh, showing you what's been going on. Um, I'm hoping tomorrow we'll probably start pairing some of our ball pythons again. Um, there should be enough time for us to figure out if we need to check for any more mites. Um, I think we're good though. So we actually just misted her tub down with biscuit. Um, we'll go ahead and miss down Snickers tub. Um, tomorrow we'll also be doing feeding for the geckos. Because we feed Wednesdays and Saturdays. We're looking at the moisture already. Ignore the flashing. I have a GoPro sitting up there because I was going to attempt to pair some of my geckos. I was getting into that time where they start breeding. Um, which, because it's dark now, I don't can't really check. I'm gonna not miss this one. Um, I got Harley in there, and then I think um, Hazelnut's down at the bottom. That's our GoPro. It's a really old one, so it doesn't have like any cool features on it. Um, I was using that to try and spy on them, but that didn't really work. I'm not sure if they've been doing anything in here or what. I just know Harley does not want me anywhere near him, like usual. Very flighty. Heck, heck, even me trying to reach in here just to spray down and stuff is freaking him out. Just trying to see if I could pick up Hazelnut. Where did she go? Yeah, she's right there. Being an absolute weirdo. Come here, girl. It's okay. So this is her. She's now extreme harlequin. Oh, come on, girl. And of course, Harley is, you know, a pinstrip harlequin. So I think they make a good pair. It's just, I don't know if they're breeding or not. Probably just leave him in for a few days and hope for the best. So the first thing is Boca here. She is huge. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull him out because I think she I put him in there earlier just because she was head bobbing at him. But Let's see if I can pick her up here. She is huge. She looks to be going into another prelay shed, so I think she's gravid again. Cross my fingers that she actually lays some fertile eggs this time around. I'm not gonna get my hopes up, but you know, I can I can hope a little bit. Um and then down here our girl Delta shed. She looked beautiful. Got all all from one piece. Um, I'll be going and cleaning this up here in a bit. But it's like she also took a massive dump. What is with you guys pooping? You guys poop way too much. There's Peanut. He looks good. Looks like he finally shed. Looks gorgeous. He also pooped a lot, like everyone else. See, we got banana. He looks good. I'm not seeing any mites or anything in his tub. 
It looks like Oreo here peed. Um, here's Xander. I'm not seeing anything in his tub either. Um, and then Kat, she looks good too. Um, she shed finally. She's still a little wrinkly though. We're trying, I'm trying to, pull, you know, pull back on her feeding a bit. I think that's why she's, she's just a little tiny bit overweight. And then we got this girl down here. Hi. She's getting so big. She's looking good. Um, there's Echo. Looks like she needs her tub cleaned. Um, I'm going to be cleaning the tubs off camera just because it's a lot easier for me. Um, you peed in your water bowl. That's disgusting. That's a spicy girl. She is very spicy. And yes, we were planning to treat the rest of these tubs with the mite spray, but we didn't get to it. At least not all of them. Uh, it looks like she peed. This is blue. Of course, she got moved up a tub size because she's over that threshold. Um. We got our cinnamon mahogany head albino male in here. I haven't quite decided on a name. I was thinking like Lunar or, you know, something like that, because we have Solaris, which is going to be his future girlfriend, but for some reason that name isn't really sticking. So, suggestions would be appreciated. Um, I think it was down here. Yeah. This is a new boy. Still haven't picked out a name for him, but we'll figure that out. Uh, we got Lucy. Um, she's in shed. I'm hoping we get a clutch from her. She's gained quite a bit of weight. She looks pretty thick, but I can't really tell if she has follicles in her or not. Looks like you made a horrendous mess. Um, that's Charlie. She's also gained a bunch of weight. But I can't feel any follicles in her, so I don't know where the weight gain came from. Um, I'll still be pairing her. She's only been paired once, and I did not see a visual lock on them. So hopefully this next time we're going to actually get something. And of course, Ava, she looks fine. I'm not breeding her this year because she hasn't been showing any interest in any of the males. Um, looks like she peed. Everyone went to the bathroom. Yeah, uh, this is Penny. I don't think she's going to be breeding this year. I'm not sure. Um, I don't feel any follicle growth on her, but I guess we'll see. Now, Butter's here. She just shed. She is huge. Um, I do feel pretty big follicles in her, you know, about golf ball size. So I'm thinking she will lay a clutch for us. She also has gained like 500 grams in the past four months, which is quite a lot for a female. What? Yeah, you made a nasty mess. So again, I'll be cleaning these off camera just because Robbie's not here and I, it's just be a pain in the butt for me to try to record all that by myself. Um, check on these guys. She looked like she peed. You're good. You're good, I think. You're in shed, so I need to miss down your tub. Um, you're good, it looks like. You're good. You pooped. You're good. You pooped in the corner. Oops, sorry, buddy. And you're in shed also. And then these two bottom tubs are empty. Um, looking up here, I'm guessing these fogged up tubs are messy. But... 
So yeah, that's really it for today. Um, I'm hoping there'll be more to talk about when we get our ball pythons paired up again. Um, hopefully the geckos will also breed. I don't know. Harley is really skittish, really just all over the place. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I haven't been able to really get any footage of them. I don't have a flashlight set up and I don't want to leave the light on right now. So I guess I'll just leave them in for a few days and see what happens. Either I'll get eggs or I won't. Um, or I could just leave them in together until it looks like she's gravid. I don't know. But thank you for watching and consider giving a like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.